Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei episode number 5. Alright, uh, the previous episode was one of the like most unique episodes and <laughs> like, uh, like Paul being the kind of a dude that he is, like that was that episode and like we got two new characters, two like uh, new like people who were born uh two new characters uh one of them was norn another one was aisha i think and uh like a lot of things happened in the previous episode that was the whole thing and uh there was this whole thing about like uh uh rudy uh trying to like get uh like money for the uh, for like uh sylph uh sylphiet and uh like he asked like his dad about it but obviously because of a lot of like complications that was rejected but Rudy being the person he is the 30 year old guy in the body of a like a uh, child and him being the master like uh, what you can I say like negotiator uh, he was able to kind of like make a deal of like getting a job and um, like uh, and like uh, to like earn the money now I think uh, in the previous episode I was under a wrong impression I thought that um like the person that was introduced the beast woman uh Ghislaine, i think yeah that was her name i thought she was going to train rudy but i think i am mistaken because uh like the training is left for like left left to paul like paul is training rudy so i think i'm not sure what she actually like why did she come here so let's just check this out in this episode because I, I thought that maybe like Paul kind of like transferred the training uh, to like Ghislaine and she's going to train him. But now thinking about it, uh, Paul kind of himself said that no, you are my student, I am going to train you. Uh, so I won't allow you to suddenly go to the magic ac academy before like completing your training. So I think this is like somehow related to the job that like uh, Paul said that he will find for Rudy. Let's just check it out. Like I'm sure we'll get the answer in this episode. So yeah, anyways guys, uh, without further ado, let's get started with Mushoku Tensei episode number 5. Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! Ah, there she is. <laughs> Okay. What the? What was that? Okay, that's the letter. Oh, it's from Paul. Okay. Yeah, me neither. Damn! Look at her. <laughs> oh! What the damn? Oh, okay, so this is the yeah, like what was that for? Oh, wait, what? Okay, calm down. Sword King? Oh, okay, so... This guy... <laughs> okay... Yeah. Okay, okay. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, wait, so... So this is like... Okay, this is also kind of a training for Rudy as well. Alright. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Okay. But yeah, like, he didn't even like... <laughs> oh my god. So... She's the best, she's like Ghislaine, is like the Sword King. That means she's one of the best. Oh. Wow. The rabbit and that's... <laughs> what is that? Wine? You're, you're letting... Or is it fruit juice? Oh, hello there. Oh. Wait, he's not a noble. But, oh, okay. Hmm. Great rat. Oh, cousin. Wait, oh, so that means they're noble? Like, they're nobility? Okay, um, being a mayor is m nobility, isn't it? Okay, okay. Oh. So technically, they are nobility. Five years, a lot of years. Okay, um... Alright, so this is the third, uh, like, lady we're going to meet, uh, from the opening. Not the opening, from the, like, uh, poster. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's a red haired girl, I'm guessing. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and I think she's she's a Sundra, isn't it? I'm sure of it. Um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yep, that's a sun sundre. Okay, Rudy is kind of pissed, I think. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, um... Uh... Okay, oh... Uh... Okay, come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not a sundare. That's that's. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, what the... <laughs> hmm. Wow.
Yeah, I, I'm, I should. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I forgot her name in this like commotion. Act. How's that? What the hell is with this guy? Um. Okay, that guy's like was um a little bit. Mm. <laughs> oh my god oh this is uh what was this um oh this was from uh, roxy what oh no what the hell Oh, that guy. Is it that guy? Oh, is this the plan that they have? That they made? Oh, I think so. This is just an act that they are like putting out. Oh, maybe, maybe, oh no, this is, this is real. This guy really kidnapped them. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is not acting. Like, this is the real deal. Oh. Okay, Rudy, I, I think... You should realize this, like this is not acting, like this guy. So they took advantage of this plan. God damn it. Oh no, she's... Okay, Rudy, heal her. Go and heal her. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Like, that's not acting. Yeah, like, they might have, like, a strong mage with them. Yeah, just run away. Like, that's the way. Oh no! <clears throat> okay.
Okay, come on. Okay, uh, yeah, they went away. Yep. Like, thankfully, like, they, hopefully they go, they're able to find their way back. Um... Um. <laughs> oh, they're like in a different like down. <laughs> I doubt she needs that. She just yeah, she just use, makes her servants do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh my god. Damn those horses. Thankfully they did not like notice them. But maybe they're like waiting for them just like in front of the houses maybe. Yeah, I feel like they like laid a trap somewhere. Oh no, I think, um... Oh god! Nope! Oh great! Like, yeah, he was in on this! God damn! Yeah! <laughs> Damn. You're dealing with the wrong person. But, oh no, they have her. So, Rudy won't be able to properly. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, what? So this is like a grudge thing? And obviously, like they, like she's, she can, like she has a, like she, they can, like put a ransom on her. So, mm, yeah. Oh, and that as well. Knowledge from the hero games. <laughs> <coughs> wow, amazing. That <laughs> okay, good job. That acted as like a big.
signal and there's someone is coming oh <laughs> okay oh what oh no Oh, is it? Is that Ghislaine? Yeah, that's Ghislaine. <laughs> Sweet. Damn. Wow, this was amazing. This was one of the best episodes, I have to say. Like. The special effects and everything was so damn good. Oh. Yeah, he is not accustomed to all of this. Hmm. Oh boy, this would kind of like traumatize him. But he needs to like get through this because this is that type of a world where like you'll have to like kill people and everything. Shut up, dude. <sighs> oh, great. Like, just look at what a lit. Yeah, she changed. Yeah, this kind of like went out of hand. <clears throat> yeah. That's also another thing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. Wow, that was an amazing episode, especially like all of the like effects and everything it was so good and the animation and everything. Okay. <sighs> now, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, like, yeah, this was a good episode. This was one, like one of the, especially like in the like action, like action department and everything, like in the like the fights and everything was like well, well done like i have to say and <clears throat> like uh 
this like as far as i can like say like this is not one of those animes which will have like uh like daily fighting episodes or something like that like this won't be like so much action packed but like i'm sure like like they'll have some of them just like in this episode like this is kind of like i think a slice of lifey type of an isekai uh, and i'm not sure this is just a guess like as far as the like like the episodes are going like uh, so like for the time like for the time when we'll get to see these type of like fights and like scenes like this it will be like done as masterfully as this i'm sure about it so like especially they can like concentrate their like you know budget on these bits and everything so yeah like good job and like i'm really happy that uh like <coughs> okay that's the end i'm really happy that uh like they are putting the budget uh, in the production of this show and uh like i'm really liking like the way this is going and everything and this is quite a really f like a fresh breath of air from like the norm like the normal isekais the like other isekais and uh like all of the other isekais are kind of like going the same direction like you gain power you like fight uh, like people you can gain power and like that's like just like that like it's, it's like a power you know like power grind that you become powerful and then you fight stronger enemies and then you again become powerful and you like gain allies and then fight strong enemies like that's an easy guy like uh and it's, it's not that i don't like those things i definitely love those but this is uh like kind of different and i'm really liking uh the way they are like focusing on everything else uh on top of like focusing on the battles and uh, and like the main fighting aspect like <clears throat> apart from that they are also focusing on the other like world building stuff for example as you see like the human relationships uh like how uh like the whole thing with paul and his dad uh, <laughs> sorry rudy and his dad paul and zenith uh the whole like uh thing that happened in the previous episode the thing with paul and paul kind of messing up that and like gaining new family members like all of these kind of stuff like they are like focusing on that as well and i'm really liking that like they are like doing it extremely like well and i have to say like uh this is i think one of the most unique isekais i've ever seen and i really hope they continue this story because i think um i don't know i'm, I'm think that the life novel is over of like of mushoku tensei as far as i know uh, like it's, it has ended so uh and i think it has like 20 plus volumes i'm not sure how many volumes they have but like more than 20 volumes or i might be wrong but it's like close to that so like i'm sure they have a lot of source materials and i really hope that obviously they're going to have another season like which i'm guessing will be like the continuation from this like this will have i think 13 or 12 episodes then we'll get like the second part after i i I don't know like how much long but we'll get it like there is like scheduled the like second season scheduled so <clears throat> we'll get that so uh like even after that I really hope they continue this story because this is something really unique that uh like especially like in these like days of like uh so many isekais like so many different types of isekai this is something that I really like love and I'm really enjoying and this is so unique and like in a lot of ways so yeah i really hope that they continue this and especially with these type of like animations and everything this type of visuals and the like soundtrack and everything and the like super voice acting like this is like uh like a gem i have to say so like i'm really enjoying the like uh, like the story and everything and i'm glad that i started reacting to this like this is like if this continues i'm sure like this is will be like one of the top animes and i'm really hoping that it does <laughs> okay so let's talk about this episode um so this episode was um <laughs> like uh, the like red haired girl like the sundre <laughs> and <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> and then um, oh yeah what was i saying uh, okay so this is like uh, we in we are introduced to i'm not sure what her name is like like amongst all the commotion i didn't even like know like uh like focus on her name but anyways i'm i'll check that out after like i've like finished discussing so anyways 
she is introduced and like we all like all of us knew that she's going to be introduced like sooner or later because from the poster of the show and also like the ending uh, like showed us uh, her so <clears throat> i think she's the last one like the last uh, like main one of the last main characters so mm, yeah and anyways yeah as i was saying so it turns out paul let rudy uh, or let Ghislaine accompany Rudy to this uh, house of uh, nobility. Oh, they're cousins, aren't they? Yeah, okay. No, sorry. Like, they're family member. So, like, uh, Paul let him go there so that he can kind of get a job. And at the same time, he can, like, learn, uh, like, the sword techniques from Ghislaine. Because obviously, Ghislaine is the best. Uh, she is the uh, sword king. Yeah, sword king and <clears throat> so she is i'm guessing even stronger than paul so yeah like that i kind of thought like that is the <clears throat> reason and um like i was a little bit uh not sure about the whole thing of like paul letting rudy go because obviously paul was hell-bent on like <clears throat> making rudy train under him but it, like I kind of understand why he did because obviously Ghislaine is even better than him as a like a teacher like she can teach her a lot more things uh, than Paul so that was the reason why like Paul let him go <clears throat> that and obviously like Rudy needed some work which he wanted and like it's kind of like uh, two things like that she he's going to do like get his like throat uh, like uh, weapon training and also like earn some money by working here that and another thing uh, i'm not sure i think they, they, they mentioned in this like in the beginning of the episode like it said something about like Ghislaine also learning something from paul like from rudy so what does Ghislaine have to learn from rudy like magic like is that it or, or am i like mistaking something like, like they kind of mentioned something like that when in, in the <clears throat> letter so all right i checked that out portion out okay so uh like uh, in that portion it was they were saying like the letter was sent saying that uh you will teach uh her as well like in turn she will like teach you swordsmanship so i'm guessing uh by the thing that he, uh, like paul wanted like Ghislaine wanted to teach from rudy is magic i'm guessing like is that what uh like Ghislaine wants to like learn from rudy and obviously like she he's also going to uh, <clears throat> teach um the girl the red-haired girl so um that i'm guessing that is the thing like uh, so he's doing a few things he's going to teach uh, the red-haired girl i think her name was aries wasn't it uh, her uh, about like uh, magic and everything and stuff like those things and he's also going to teach the same thing to Ghislaine. in like in turn Ghislaine will teach him swordsmanship and like eris i'm not sure if that's her name if i'm wrong please forgive me i'll check it out later on uh like she will <clears throat> like provide him with like money like which obviously rudy needs for like uh, covering his tuition and like a uh, silver tuition as well so okay so kind of got what they were like <clears throat> like what they did and so that is the reason why like paul let him go and and then we meet uh, the girl um <coughs> she is uh obviously i expected her to be a sundare with that um blazing red hair that this like uh, the way of standing like this and like like <laughs> loud voice <laughs> like that's the definition of a sundare and <laughs> she is a bit like you, you know like her sun like the like the sun uh, level of her is a li little bit a bit too much obviously so like not a bit too much it's quite extreme like he she, she started beating him up <laughs> obviously like she I'm, I'm guessing like she has been pampered by his by, by her dad a lot and she like that's why she kind of like was brought up like this haughty and like you know with such an attitude and like uh she like always like uh treated the servants and everyone not like like extremely rudely 
and that's all obviously that's the reason why like that guy kind of did the whole kidnapping thing and that and she has i'm sure like she has never like gotten slapped by anyone so like <laughs> rudy didn't even slap her like she just like give gave a little like this like a little bit of a like a uh, tap in her like um face and she, <laughs> she just like <laughs> Like mounted him and started bashing his like face, and uh, I was really not expecting that, obviously. But oh well, like, <laughs> like, uh, like I know a lot of people will be annoyed at this. Like, uh, like uh, this, like this kind of like uh, a few people kind of like does not like Sundres, but I really love Sundres. Like they are like just uh, like like a national treasure. <laughs> you know, I love Sundres. Like. Uh, different types of sundar uh, people like uh, sundaris with extremes uh, sun like uh, the sun being uh, quite high that's di that type of sundar or the sundaris with low sun and uh, like more dere that also like everything everything goes with me like uh, for example uh, i'm just giving an example like uh, a character with like high sun and low dere is um uh, aisaka taiga aisaka taiga uh luis from uh, uh what was the name zero no tsukaima uh yeah i watched those uh like i loved watching those like those were like one of the like best animals that i've watched zero no tsukaima tora dora and shakugan no shana i watched all of them so <coughs> like <laughs> those are the examples and an example of a sundere with uh like more uh, dere and less such soon is tosakarin from fake series so like this is like a lot of them and this girl i think <laughs> has the most soon and obviously aska langley from um uh neon genesis uh, like everyone knows her like she's also also like one of the biggest sundares with a lot of soon so like all of these like uh, <laughs> examples okay i'm kind of like getting off the tracks so okay so like we meet this girl and then <clears throat> okay so yeah she kind of like freaks out and <laughs> and they decide to like kind of teach her a lesson some like some way and it backfires like the guy who was uh the servant uh who was mistreated by this uh, uh like little lady uh like i'm not sure like what like di did he really like do this to just uh like uh for his grudge or maybe like uh, for his grudge and also like a little bit of money i'm guessing both of it is kind of plays a part because i think like obviously he was a lot angry at uh, the lady uh, for like mistreating him and everything and that like grudge kind of made him do this and at the same time i'm sure he also wanted the like ransom money that they they were probably going to get and everything so uh, like i think that's the reason why like he captured uh, her and i'm sure like they did not expect rudy to be this strong and to be this like intelligent so it was like a miscalculation but even though like uh, rudy was so strong and rudy was like intelligent like he almost like died like in this episode like if glenn did not come in so like this kind of shows that he is not a uh, like omnipotent like uh, character like you know one of those characters from those isekais who can like just do anything and like is so op that like everyone is like just like uh like can't can't do anything in front of his power like a type of character like that he's not a type of character like that and uh, i really like that and i really like uh like like i'm happy because of that because uh, obviously he like he'll get a lot more character development because of that reason mm, and uh like he's strong but he is not like so strong that he can like wipe the floor with the enemies like in this episode we kind of saw that that the uh like the casting that concurrent casting that he has like without like incantations that he did does uh, that kind of helped but at the same time uh, uh, like skilled people would easily be able to deflect that for example the guy who with the like weapon like he kind of deflected all of the like fireballs that he like threw at him and at the same time he even like launched his sword at him so it kind of shows that uh, only like learning ma like magic won't help him in a lot of ways so he also needs to like uh, rank up his swordsmanship skill as well which i'm sure gilane will teach him well yeah and <clears throat> and another thing uh, like that i saw in this episode was he was like extremely afraid of like uh, like of the blood and everything which is extremely 
uh, what can I say like normal in this situation because uh, he is a person from the real world where these type of things usually does not happen but this is like an isekai world where like these type of things like seldom happens and that's also the reason why Ares was not like uh, like rattled at the scene like she just like stood up and just like uh, like started like uh, became happy after seeing Ghislaine but uh, like at the same time Rudy was like shocked at that like that's one reason another reason I kind of like realized it later was that he has a phobia about death because he himself died one times like when he said in the later portion that uh, like if I die again what will happen uh, I kind of realized that oh that is also another reason why he like got so scared looking at the blood like he thought that like that kind of showed him that yeah I might I might have died this time as well so I'm, I'm guessing like he will like become more like cautious and like uh, like not go like do this kind of like you know um, <clears throat> rash things and like uh, these kind of like things which will like uh, involve life and death you will like uh, like plan and like move accordingly uh, after this uh, because obviously he has a fear of death because he kind of died once so yeah and this is also another thing that we usually do not see in other isekais you know like uh we kind of like make fun of like dracoon like dracoon <laughs> like killing people and uh, like isekaiing them but we never think about this the trauma that a person has to go through when like he dies like imagine a truck like uh killing you and you like get reincarnated into a world where you like have the previous memories of yourself dying like that is something that we never think about like i have to say like they even like uh, gave uh like um like that uh, like gave that an importance as well like rudy here he remembers that he died uh, like being killed by a truck so that kind of like makes him uh, a lot like afraid of death in itself and uh, it kind of is a phobia whereas in a lot of other isekais we kind of like never like see these kind of things like the uh, like the main character being like afraid of dying like uh we usually do not see even though he kind of died once so obviously like it is like normal to be like afraid of death if you like have like seen death in front of your eyes just like that not seen death but experienced it yourself so that's also another thing that like they uh, put attention to and i'm really glad so yeah that's like props to the like creator of this story uh yeah and i think um this episode has one of the best quotes <laughs> like money cannot buy dere <laughs> oh my god that was so good <laughs> yes he has like trained so much in his real world and like that has made it possible for him to like <laughs> choose the correct choices and get to that like uh, you know the, that end of the, the heroine end or like <laughs> oh my god that was amazing that was like an amazing quote that he said <laughs> okay and obviously after that we see an amazing like uh like scene of like Ghislaine fighting and like everything kind of like stopped it was like black and white Ghislaine came in and like bam everyone died so that was amazing i'm i'm sure like uh, one day rudy would also be able to do stuff like this and i'm just waiting for that <clears throat> and <clears throat> also rudy was like intelligent in this he used his brain he did not like uh, like try to like uh, attack them himself he like first of all he like shot a flare up upwards which kind of like made Ghislaine like uh, know where they are and like that was really like good thinking in his part like he did not try to like he knew his like shortcomings he knew that he won't be able to like defeat them so he just like did that so that others can come and help him and then obviously like uh, uh like the girl uh, accepted him as like a t like a tutor and yeah so i'm i'm sure like she <laughs> she will like keep his sundre like uh, attitude and but I'm guessing a little bit of like Dere has come out so uh, as like Rudy said that money can't buy Dere and that is like extremely like uh, a well said like <laughs> a well said like um, saying and he is right like he did it and he was able to kind of bring a little bit of that Dere side of like uh, the girl 
and like one thing i'm sure about it is i will be a lot more you know um like i'll prefer this girl a lot more than the other two uh like girls uh, sylphiet and roxy because obviously she is a sundere and like i don't know if like what will happen or like like how this and like this uh like show will go on but like yeah i'm shipping this girl with rudy and no one else and i i like i don't know like usually uh like she is like introduced last like uh, so i'm not sure if she would be able to like sh like the ship will sail or not i'm not sure because usually like a characters who are introduced in the end uh, the ships does not sail the ships sink usually so i'm not sure what will happen but anyways i'm i'm shipping these two like obviously because she's a sundre and uh, i really hope like some kind of development happens and they're going to like uh, like be like five years they'll like study together so i'm guessing this is like a lot of time and like uh, this show is like uh, is extremely like the timeline in this show is extremely fast so I'm, I'm i'm guessing like we'll like zoom past these five years in a couple of episodes let's just see how this goes so yeah so yeah guys that was this episode this was one of the best episodes uh, of this show up until now and i'm um, like I have to say like hats off to each and everything the like the animation the um, visuals and everything the soundtrack each and everything the story in itself and this is like a really good show and i'm glad that i picked this uh, to react start reacting to and i really hope they continue this and up until the end so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was uh Mushoku tensei uh, episode number five of uh, uh, episode number five and uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh, please consider doing so and comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything about this show anything in general i'll be sure to check them out and <clears throat> yeah guys so i'll be back uh, next week with another episode of mushoku tensei so until then goodbye and have a nice day